Traders, welcome. Welcome into another mighty video. Today, the theme continues. We continue to see the theme on August, in which I'm not trading very well. I'm not trading very good, and I'm having one green day, one red day, one green day, one red day, one green day, one red day. Um, today, as you can see from the thumbnail, is another red day. Which is not very good, but at the same time, I'm making my best effort to keep the to keep the red days small so that when we do see a nice green day i am able to recoup all the losses and then some today hurts more than any of the other days on august because today we actually had some nice momentum we actually had some nice volatility but you know a number of things didn't align for me um you know there's no excuses i just didn't trade my best i just didn't buy where i was supposed to buy I was I was playing a little bit too much on the scanners we are implementing for our chat room. So I don't know, I was I was distracted, I felt victim of FOMO, I missed the best opportunities, I tried to play backside a little too much and I gave a lot of profits back. So not the best type of trading, um, but it happens. The quote of the day today was something that of course I said, duh. Um, and the quote was, the best setups have came and went. If you fumble the day like I did, do not try to be a hero on backside. Because tell me in the comments down below, how many times have you done this? Let's go to the ticket that was the biggest mover today. Um, which was VCIG. All right. You gave an amazing move from five bucks to eight bucks. You couldn't ask for any, any much more than that. Anyways, how many of you guys have done this? You screw up the first one minute pullback. You screw up the first second one minute pullback. Let's say you buy too high and then you get stopped out of the bottom and then it goes. Then you buy too high again, you get stopped out of the bottom and then it goes. Right? So you fumble the first three cleanest setups on the stock. Then after that, you see everybody else printing money. You see that your boy Tyrone is up a thousand. You see that your boy Magnus is up two thousand. You see that your your sister's your sister um, Jessica is up 500 bucks. And then just like that, FOMO starts to ball. You see that everybody is having a great time, saying that momentum is good, saying that the resolution is good, saying that the MMU edges have, have worked out pretty nicely today. But yet you are there sitting in silence with a red day. All right? Slowly but surely, your emotions are to get, get triggered. It becomes unacceptable that you are red. It becomes unacceptable that you are not that you had to make as much money as your as your neighbor. Emotion, you get emotionally hijacked and off you go to trade backside. Accumulate giant size here because you, you're telling yourself, okay, I fumble all this move, but here I'm going to make it all back. On this move right here, I'm going to accumulate giant size and when this thing curls, I'm going to make all the profit I should have made on this move up. Of course, there's no curl and then this thing starts flushing. And there you go. You're sitting with a nice red day. That didn't happen to me exactly, but it's something that has happened to me very often. So, you know, you got to remember, you got to be self-aware enough that if the best trades came and went, you're trying to be a, you're trying to be a hero on backside. It's only going, it's only going to bring you more red. So the story for me was this, um, didn't trade this move right here, was distracted setting up our scanners for the chat room, which is fine did trade this this one minute pullback this wedge which is one of the strategies we teach in the first link down below if you want to learn how i trade then i also traded this second one minute pullback that, got, that was holding support support just above 650 psychological level of support it was resistance we broke through it and that became support and i quickly made myself over two thousand dollars right but two thousand dollars was not enough i got caught on this flush gave a thousand dollars back and that's when FOMO got triggered a little bit for me. Only being up a thousand dollars is what this is what what this is what what fuck sakes. This is what it was going through my head at that time. Being up only a thousand dollars on this stock that has moved from five dollars to eight is unacceptable. I shall be more I should be more green. Sure enough, I started accumulating size on this consolidation here, thinking that we were going to see a curl. I went up to 
not even that big share size, but like 6,000 shares. I think I was buying in 2,000 share blocks and I punched it three times as the stock was holding. It was holding, it was holding. And then just like that, I went red on the ticker on this flush as we gave out the bottom. All right. That is, of course, very triggering and it made me very upset. But, um, you know, as a trader, you have to be able to detach from your emotions for, and you have to be able to detach from yourself. You have to become a ghost, detach, and then look back to yourself. Am I hijacked? Am I trading at the best of my abilities? Am I trading my PNL or am I am I am I or am I trading the charts in front of me? Do I have FOMO? Am, am I trying to make the money back or am I actually seeing good opportunities? And then even though I was upset and even though all of that, I was able to stay composed and be like, you fumbled them, Marcelo. Best setups came and went. So you can either go deeper into the red or close the red day, small red day, and lift to trade another day. Anyways, this thing started to fail. And then on this break through VWAP, I took this one minute pullback here that was holding over VWAP. Another strategy that we teach. This one, this one was very clean. He gave some nice resolution all the way up to seven bucks. Made made my losses, went up a hundred bucks on the ticker. Whatever. So that was that. ADTX, this one's got this this one was kind of annoying. Um, looking up on my scanners on the alert section, I saw that ticker symbol ADTX was halted up. It was halted up and um, it was showing a nice gap. It was showing almost a um, three point gap. Halted at 11, went all the way up to 13, well, two, $2 gap. I um, bought the dip and it dipped more, right? So it was a quick $400 loss. I actually bought the dip and it bounced first. It bounced all the way up to 13.69. So for a second, I was in the money for like 500 bucks, you know, on realized profit. I tried to sell on the ask. I didn't get filled on the ask, so that's fine. I kept on holding. Then reversed, this kind of made a new low and I stopped out. So, you know, this was a quick haircut again. And you know, right now the day has went from up almost 2000 to red 500 or something. So at this point, I know that the I know that the day has been fumbled. I know that I I know that the best opportunities were gone, and and the best next setup for me was going to come tomorrow morning. Just like that, I started to ease off. I started to get distracted with the scanners again, because if you have if you if you didn't already know, we are going to be adding a scanner stream to our trading course to our trading program. So if you visit the first thing down below. Um, you, you're going to see a beautiful website in which in which we host our day trading program. We are currently working on adding scanners, right? And not only scanners, but we are also adding hold levels so that you're able to see the hold level up and the hold level down of the hot stocks that we are going to be trading on that given day. I know countless traders that literally pay for a live speed. They literally pay for Dash Trader Pro. They 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 pay for Trade Zero. They 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 trade and they pay all these platforms, even if they don't even if they don't trade with those brokers, just to be able to see the hold levels. Hold levels, especially if you want to be a momentum trader, understanding where stock is going to get halted up or down is huge for trading strategy. So I I know so many traders that literally pay 150 200 bucks a month on a platform that they will not use. They will pay for it just to be able to see what is the number a stock is going to get halted up at and what is the number a stock is going to get halted down at. Those are known as hold levels. We, as part of the scanner suite, are going to be providing the hold levels for those for those stocks. So, for example, today on our scanner stream, well, today we had a, a beta run. We're doing a test run. Uh, we don't have them finalized yet. But um, today, for example, you would have been able to see the hold levels in BCIG, right? And instead of instead of getting caught off guard when this thing halted up twice, you would have you would have been, been able to see that level on the stream and be like, okay, at this level, which was 633, the stock is gonna get halted. And sure enough, it did. Right? Um, so that's the beauty of knowing halt levels. Again, we're going to be adding that to our subscription. So it's not something that you're gonna have to pay extra for. It's not something that you are going to have to buy as an add-on. It's not an extra subscription. Is going to be within the same MMU gold or MMU silver subscription. So uh, soon enough, there's going to be a number 11 here. Well, probably not a number 11 because RT is going to be removing this 
from the MMU, uh, you will no longer have access to the live lifetime access to the chat room. So then this number perk number 10 is going to be replaced with a perk that's going to say halt scanners and halt scanners, gap scanners, high low ticker scanners, high day momentum scanners, breaking news and alerts scanners. So all the scanner suite is going to be provided within the MMU membership and is going to be streamed, streamed via our chat room. And then on top of that, we're going to be also showing hold levels, right? The hold levels of each stock that we're trading. So you are able to see real time um, when a stock is going to get holded up or down. Um, so that's going to be amazing. I couldn't be more excited about that. You know, part of the reason my excitement today and why I was so distracted, it was like I was trying to set all that up. We did our first test run today and MMU members that are in it seem to be very excited about it. You know, because for them, for them, we're just increasing the value of MMU at, at, an, at, at no extra costs. Because when we do, you know, make the scanners live, we are unfortunately going to be forced to increase the price of the program. So, you know, it's not, it's not going to be as cheap as it is now, which is 397 for the MMU silver and 597 for MMU gold. Of course, utilizing 40% off coupon Vegas just for the month of August. Um, so I feel like right now, of course, I'm biased. It's a very good time to join because prices are going to be increasing. Coupon code Vegas, which gives you 40% off, is going to be expiring by, by the end of the month, which, which is in a few days. Right now, you have the chance of, of entering a raffle to fly to Las Vegas with us. And before this goes away, you're going to have, you know, if you go, if you join now, you're going to be in grandfathered in the relentless chat room forever, um, which is, you know, a Nexus description you're going to, you're going to save on. And then on top of that, whenever the price increases, whenever we do, you know, uh, show the scanners and, and start off with our scanner suite, you won't have to pay any extra because you are already going to be in the program. So that's going to be a free upgrade for you. So anyways, some exciting news for MMU there. Uh, but anyways, I, you know, went up 2000, gave it all back. Perfect. ADTX comes around. Take a dip and drip. I wasn't able to get filled on the, on the first bounce. So I tried holding for the curl. The curl didn't happen. And I stopped out at the bottom. Uh, what else? Another big loss. VCIG. Etos. What was this? Oh, yeah. So this one was another setup we teach on the classes that didn't work out today. Uh, this was a cup and handle. So a cup, you can see there's a cup. Just imagine it. Visualize it. I'm going to use my drawing tool here to show you. So a cup and handle is a, is a setup that allows us to have tighter risk on a stock that is already curling up. So when a stock is curling up, instead of just buying it randomly as it's curling up, we want to wait for a higher low. We want to wait, we want to wait for that little section of the pattern that we call the, the handle, right? So this is how a cup looks. There's the cup and there's the little handle, right? Cup from your, from your overpriced Starbucks coffee and then there's the handle. So this right here is the cup, right? Coming nice off of a double bottom, which is always bullish, always good to see. But you don't want to buy the stock as it's just curling. Yes, in the back of the mind, I do think that the stock is going to break 1778 on this move up. But at the same time, I got to be mindful of risk. So I have to wait for that handle to form. I have to wait for that higher low to be put in. And that right there is the handle. So I jumped in the stock right here on the handle. Um, you know, thinking that we were going to see a flying elongated green candle going through 1780, which was pre-market highs, then also going through 18 and, you know, a nice little trade. And my stop would have been at the lows of this handle. Uh, unfortunately, we failed and I stopped out on this red candle. Then we broke out, but it was just a very choppy ride. I mean, look at this stock. Part of the reason why this was so choppy is because all the attention was on VCIG. Right. Um, but anyway, it's not my best trading today. Pretty disappointed, but um, RT was able to hold it down for us, which is good. Uh, RT was holding it down for MMU, which I'm happy to see. 
Um, but for me, it was a red day. Uh, but it is what it is, right? I do my best to not try to compare myself to anyone. I do my best to not try to, you know, see my PL while I'm trading, just because that doesn't help me in any way. Um, unless I, unless I think I'm very close to max loss, then I would take a peek and see how close I am to max loss, just in case I gotta pay, I gotta stop trading. But um, you know, today I was trying to stay centered. Uh, it sucks because we had a lot of momentum. I feel like I should have been green, but I'm not. So that's the reality of it. So I am going to live to trade another day, and I'm going to stop the bleeding right here, right now. All right. Anyways, it's been the mighty. Stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you guys. And the next one, and that's Vidanya. Peace, Harishos, Naitiwe.